Hello boys and girls, let's do some math. First things first, as always, grab your thinking cap. We'll put that guy on. We've got our thinking caps on. We are ready to go. First off, I'm going to have some friends come by and ask you a couple questions. So what you'll do is just write it down, the write the answer down on a piece of paper somewhere, okay? Just write it down somewhere on a piece of paper or your whiteboard just so we can see. All right, come on in, friend number one. Barry Allen is here. Barry Allen, how are you? I am wonderful, Mr. T. All right. You had a question for the boys and girls? I do. I'm thinking of a shape. This shape has three vertices and three sides. What shape am I? Just draw your shape on your paper. Three sides and three vertices. Okay, after you have that, I am a shape with four sides and four vertices, every side is the same length. I am a shape with four sides and four vertices. Every side is the same length. What shape am I? All right. Did you get those two shapes? Thank you very much, Barry. Thank you for helping us out. See you next time. All right. I'm out of here in a flash. All right. And he's out of here. Next up, we have another friend for you. Another friend coming in right about now. There you go. As you see, we have Super Monkey. Super Monkey, how are you today? I am well, Mr. T. All right. Now here, that you have some problems for the, the students as well. Is that correct? I do. I do, Mr. T. I would like the students to answer me this. What time is on this clock? Ooh, what time is on the clock, boys and girls? Remember to check the hour hand and the minute hand. Hmm. Write that time down right by those shapes. You want to do another one? Yes, of course. I'll just change this real quick. Okay. Now, here is another time for you, boys and girls. What time do we have here? Check the position of the hour hand and the minute hand. Okay. Boys and girls, did you get it? All right. Well, thank you very much, Super Monkey. Thank you for your help. No problem, Mr. T. No problem. We'll see you later, boys and girls. All right. Superheroes. I wonder, hmm, who could possibly be next? Who could possibly show up next? I have no idea. <laughs> it's me, Mr. T. H.R. Rough and Stuff. H.R. Rough and Stuff. What a pleasant surprise. I never would have guessed. You have some questions for the boys and girls as well? I do. Now I'm going to tell you a number by telling you how many tens and ones are in that number. <clears throat> I just want you to write that number down. <clears throat> okay. So go right ahead. I'm thinking of a number. <clears throat> that has one ten and four ones. One ten and four ones. What number am I? Mm. Okay, one ten and four ones. Could do that. And do you have another one for us? Yes. <clears throat> I'm thinking of another number that is one ten and zero ones. One ten and zero ones. <clears throat> okay, one ten and zero ones. We could get this one. Thank you, HR Rough and Step. Thank you, Superheroes, for helping us out today. No problem, Mr. T. All right, here we go. All right, we'll see you later, buddy. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, boys and girls. They're such a good help all the time. And they're so fast. They go running out of here super fast. All right, boys and girls. Today, we're going to do... We're going to group ones to make a ten. And we're going to use... Um, our quick 10 pictures because we're going to be dealing with some pretty big numbers, right? Let me show you. I drew a bunch of dots. This took a little while to do that. There's a quicker way to do it. There is. But before we do it, I want to make sure I know how many dots I have. So what I'm going to do is find groups of 10 because we've counted by 10 and we can do that, right? We can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, right? <clears throat> we know that. So I want to make groups of 10 so I can just count by 10s because that's quicker. So let's find 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I found a group of 10 right here. So what do I do? I'm going to circle them. Now I know that in this circle is a group of 10. Now I'll continue on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another group of 10 is right here. There it is. Now let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another group of 10. Circle. There we go. So how many groups of 10 do I have? One, two, three. So three groups of 10. So I have three tens. All right. So this would be three tens. And how many ones are left over? None, right? Zero ones. Three tens, zero ones. So we have 30 ones or three tens and zero ones. Now, another way to draw this, another way to draw this, we did it yesterday. Another way to show three tens, use your quick ten. See this, there's one, two, three. Look at this, there's one, two, three. You can use your quick ten drawing to do this one as well. All right, so today, what we're going to be doing is grouping 10. So you're going to be given a couple of numbers. You're going to be shown a bunch of ones. Like I like I showed you at the beginning, I showed you 30 ones. It was a bunch of dots. You're going to count out 10 and circle them. Count out 10 and circle them. Count out 10 and circle them. Right? And then you're going to write how many tens you have and how many ones. And then let me show you. You're going to circle groups of 10, then count up your groups of 10, write how many 10s you have. If there's any 1s left over, you're going to write it here. Then if you look closely, there's a little dotted line that goes down the middle. Yeah, it's a little dotted line. What you're going to do is draw your quick 10s over here. The same number, just draw your quick 10s, show how many 10s, and what number it equals. So if I had three 10s, three 10s equals... 30, right? Okay. Now, when you flip over to the next side, all we're going to be given is a number, 51. So you're going to write how many 10s are in 50, how many 1s are in 50, and then make your quick 10 drawing here. And again, write how many 10s are there, and then write the number out. Okay? So we're going to do 1 and 2 on 258. And you're going to do... Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight on page two hundred fifty-nine. All right. And also, let's do our one-minute math. How many problems can you finish in one minute, and see if you improve from the last time you did it. Okay. So before before I let you guys go, just a, a quick reminder from yesterday. If I wanted to write 50, the quick 10 way, right? Because putting 50 dots, that would be a lot. That would be a lot. If I want to draw 50 the quick 10 way, I pretend like that is one of my 10 sticks, right? So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is 50. How many 10s are there in 50? You can look at that number, or you can count how many tens there are. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens. How many ones? None, right? Zero ones. Okay. Hope that helps you out, because we're talking about and, and dealing with bigger numbers than we've dealt with. Hopefully this makes it a little bit easier on you. Okay, you just have to remember, even though it looks like a one that we draw, when we say 
quick 10, we know that we're dealing with a 10 stick, right? Just like our cube. Like this is one of these. All right. All right, boys and girls, go have fun with this. We'll see you just a little bit later. Bye-bye.